Okay, so this time we have uh, different ordering inside the square root. Now one thing to remember about transformations is you have to make sure it's in the proper form that we had in the beginning of this, this section. So the way the transformations work is you gotta have a positive x and it's x plus or minus something. Now this, we don't have it in the right form because we've got the order is switched. So before we start doing the graphs, we first wanna do a little bit of work to this to get it into the right form to where we can then apply the transformations. So for this one, we need to first switch the order. So I'm gonna switch the order and write it this way as negative x plus four. And of course we have the plus two on the outside. So the first step, switch the order around. The negative still has to stay with the x. But we don't wanna uh, just leave it there because transformation rules say that you gotta have a positive x in front. So I need to, need to factor out an x, or factor out a negative there, and that way the x ends up being positive. So if I factor out a negative, you're really doing factoring out a negative one here. What that'll do is it'll change that into a minus four instead. And then you still got the plus two on the outside. So now that we've done that, notice that the sign, it's not plus, so we're actually not gonna move this graph to the left, we're actually gonna move it to the right because we did this factor step. So this is a really important step that you have to do before you jump in and start uh, graphing this one. We now have it in the correct form where we can apply our transformation rules. We got a positive one in front of the x there. Negative is factored out, so uh, we now know that we're gonna move the graph to the right. So let's now do the different transformation stages here. Our first graph is always going to be our base graph. We're using the square root of x graph again, so that's going to go like this. And we have our special key points that I'll put here. We have our 1, 1, and 4, 2. So this is our base graph. The graph goes up and to the right. That's our general sketch. Now, here's the other ones that we're going to do. It doesn't matter if you do the plus two first or if you do the inside one first. I'm gonna do the inside one first, but without the negatives, so I'm just gonna do this one. Square root of x minus four. So we'll do this in steps until we get to the final answer. Okay, so this one, you're gonna move the graph. This says that we're gonna move the graph four places opposite direction of the sign. So we gotta move it four places to the right. So from here it was at zero, zero, that gets shifted over four places this way. Also, this point here gets shifted four places over. So the starting point is right here. And this one, 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 we add four to that, it's gonna now make it at five comma one. And it's going to do something like this. Now the next point, uh, I don't have enough room to show this here, but you would move that over this point. You'd move it at four places over to the right as well, and you'd have it at eight. So this, this point right here would be at eight, uh, eight comma two. Okay, next we're going to now apply the two on the outside. So square root x minus four plus two. What that does, it's gonna take this graph here and move the entire graph up two units. So this is still gonna stay here at four, but the whole thing gets shifted up two units. So instead of it being here at, on the x-axis, that gets moved up two units. So that means that the graph now is going to go through there. It's gonna start at four, two. So, over, so four here, move the whole graph up two units. This point also gets moved up two units. So it was at one, now it'll be at three. So it means that at 5, 3, we've got another one, and then that's gonna go and look something like this, okay? This point uh, was over here at 8, 8, 2, it'll be at 8, 3, if you wanted to plot the point over here. Again, I'm not gonna show that, but 8, 3 is where that coordinate would be. Okay, now the final graph, we have a negative on the inside this time. We talked about previously that if you have a negative on the outside, what that does is it flips the graph this direction, it flips it over the horizontal axis. But this time, you notice you have a negative on the inside. So our transformation rule, if you have f of negative x, what that does is it's actually gonna flip the graph this way vertically. So if it's on the outside, 
uh, it flips it over the horizontal axis. If negative is on the inside, you flip it over the vertical axis. Okay, so this is still going to go through the same point we had before. It's still going to go through, uh, starting point is still 4, 2 that we have there. But the whole graph moves this direction. If, now this is a pivot point. Now you're not going to move it all the way over on this side. You're not going to do that. You have to keep it at the pivot point. And this is, imagine if this is tied here and you're just taking this, picking it up, and moving it over there. That's what you're doing. You're, you're pivoting it based on that 4, 2. Okay, so this point that was here, that's going to move over to this side. So in fact, it's going to end up at 3, 3. Okay, so 3, 3 is where that point will be at. Now this point over here, I mentioned before, this is over here at 8, but that whole thing gets moved over to here. So what's going to happen is, since that's four, instead of 4 going that way, it's 4 going this way, which now means that it's going to cross the y-axis at that point. Another way of, think, of knowing where that point's going to end up at is, normally if I start here to get this point, I would go 4 to the right and up 2. From the starting point, instead of going 4 to the right, I'm now going to go 4 to the left and up 2. So now I know that it crosses there at, at 0, 4. This is what your final graph's going to look like. So let me shorten this one, not to be confused with this one. Your graph is this final one right here. So again, it goes over 4, up 2. It crosses through that point there at 0, 4. The one that we graphed was the final one because this is the one where we're applying the negative. So negative 1 on the inside, x minus 4, plus 2. So again, the reason why it, it now opens up to the left is mainly because of the negative that we have on the inside.